right, everybody, behind me is the 2025 Roadmaster Elite. This bike, just from the outset, just looks gorgeous. There's some blue paint, there's some uh, bronze coloring, some gold coloring. I'm gonna get the camera, we're gonna get up close, and I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overview of this brand new bike. And shout out to India Motorcycle for getting me out here uh, so that we can look at this bike, give you guys a first look, giving my take on it. All right, let's go. Peoples, 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 what is going on? I am Finesse, and today we are gonna be talking about the partial release of the 2025 Indian Motorcycle lineup. Now, with that teaser that you just saw at the beginning of the video, uh, we are gonna start today off with the 2025 Indian Motorcycle Roadmaster, all right? But before we get into that, just to give you guys a, um, you know, a little bit of what's going on, earlier today, the Indian Motorcycle website was taken down so that they could do some updates, okay? Um, and part of that was, you know, rearranging the Indian motorcycle lineup. Uh, and since we're talking about the Roadmaster Elite, if you get on the webpage and you go to the Elite section, you're only gonna see two bikes in there now. Whereas previous, you saw the other Elite models that were released uh, in 23 and 24, okay? So now the only bikes that are shown on there when you look at the Elites are the current Elites, which is the 2024 Indian Motorcycle Challenger and the 2025 Indian Motorcycle Roadmaster. All right. So uh, once we get done talking about that, they also released the uh, Scout 60. So they filled out the rest of the 2025 Scout lineup. And not only that, they gave us the 2025 Chieftain and Roadmaster, the standard, I guess you want to say, uh, or non-elite uh, Roadmaster lineup as well. And we are going to dive into all of those things. I'm going to tell you guys a few little quirks here and there. Uh, maybe uh, what they did that's different and the things that I noticed as well as some of my initial impressions and thoughts. All right, let's get into it. All right, I have my notes in hand. So let's jump right into this Roadmaster Elite for 2025. Okay, now a lot of this bike is going to be carryover from the 2024 year model. Uh, with a few exceptions, they've made a few updates. Uh, you could say they kind of refined the bike a little bit. Um, so uh, things like the ride command system, uh, the engines, as well as the frame, suspension, you know, the major components are still going to be the same um, as they were in previous years uh, with a few little additions here and there. All right. Now, um, from what I gather from the information that I have, uh, I want to say that there were some updates to the ride command system, which I think it was was is a good thing. Um, the ride command system is a great system when it functions properly. Um, and I know a lot of people were having issues with the Apple CarPlay and those types of things. Um, so with this new update or with the updated version of the uh, ride command system, um, at least from what I'm reading, hopefully a lot of those issues were solved. And while we're on the subject of the ride command system, uh, there's been a, a well, I want to say there's a lot, but typically I, I usually run into somebody that has questions about the ride command system. Uh, as far as what you are getting with the ride command system, all right? Um, so any bike that has the seven inch display or the four inch display, the ride command system, your turn by turn navigation, that is embedded in the software. You get that, you don't have to pay a fee. Whenever you buy the bike, you get it, all right? Things like the, uh, the bike health, map overlays, or weather, the map weather overlays, um, and, and some, a few other features that's when you get into the subscription based features for the ride command system. All right. Now, when you buy the bikes, you're going to get a trial for that uh, feature, uh, whether you would like to use it or not, you know, it's available to you. I would at least, uh, you know, if you end up buying a bike, suggest trying it out uh, just to see, you know, if you like it or not. I, I think most people are going to want to use Apple CarPlay or use their phone or Android auto, you know, whatever the case may be. But, um, it is there uh, for you to use. You get a free trial, so why not? All right. Anyways, um, again, uh, with the carryover, you're getting the Thunderstroke 116 engine. It's going to have uh, 126 foot pounds of torque at 2,900 RPMs. All right. So, real low in the rev range. 
you're getting all of that torque you know to get that bike moving along all right um, and also a few other things that are different this year for the elite uh, for the Roadmaster, you are getting the heated and cooled seat. Uh, in previous years, it was just the heated seat. So now you get them both, which is which is fantastic. And I'm here to tell you that cooled feature on the seat is a very interesting feature. It works very well. Uh, and also the heated function on those seats works very well too. All right. And uh, not only that, if you look at the seat, you get a, um, a new stitched pattern. Uh, on the seat that's unique to this bike and and the seats on the Roadmaster those seats are wide you know you get a lot of space they're really cushiony um, and also the passenger uh, portion of the seat is is quite bigger compared to the other bikes in the lineup all right um, on the fuel tank there's a new console that's been added and it gives you your uh, battery status as well as your fuel gauge um, when I was when I first saw it, that was one of the things that kind of stood out to me. Uh, looks really good. It's it's nicely done, uh, very tasteful. <clears throat> Fits right into the elite uh, branding that this bike has. All right, and um, not only that, uh, the headdress on this motorcycle lights up. So I know in the past you could get a kit for it to have the front end light up, but now Indian Motorcycle is already including that for you so that Indian Motorcycle headdress lights up when you turn the bike on. So in addition to uh, the new style seat, uh, the console there on the fuel tank, you're also getting the upgraded audio package for this motorcycle. So it's a 800 watt system. It has uh, 12 speakers which is uh, and it's uh, six actual like cone speakers and then six tweeters. All right. So that makes up your 12. Uh, and so you have your fairing speakers, you have your saddlebag speakers, and then you also have uh, the uh, speakers in the tour pack. So and I've, I've heard the uh, the 600 watt version of this audio package and it sounds great. So, you know, adding those two extra speakers or I guess technically four. Uh, speakers in the tour pack that's just going to enhance the sound even further i'm sure this bike you're going to have no problem hearing this bike at whatever speed that you're going uh when you're riding all right um, and the msrp for this bike is forty one thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars so right in line with the previous year uh the previous year was the i, I want to say it was the exact same price this is basically forty two thousand dollars uh, for the Roadmaster Elite, all right? Um, and when we were at that event, I didn't really get a lot of time with the bike. I, I had a chance to get some pictures and a little bit of video, uh, and uh, again, the intro that you've seen. Um, and however, if I get the chance to get the bike in person where I can go over, like slowly go over each and everything uh, like I do with the reviews, I'm absolutely going to bring you guys that, so stay tuned. I'm sure Savannah Motorsports is going to um, get one, uh, so I'll definitely be going over there to check them out. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to be able to ride the bike uh, because it being an elite, one of 300 bikes worldwide. Uh, the chances of me uh, being able to ride it then is probably going to be nil and void, but uh, I might get the chance to ride the bike in Daytona this year coming up. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned for that. All right. So in addition to the Roadmaster Elite release, Indian Motorcycle also released the uh, Scout 60 lineup. Um, so back a few months ago, uh, Indian Motorcycle released the 2025 Scout lineup. And um, it was, I mean, these are, there's some great bikes. They're, they're so fun. Uh, the Scouts, the Scouts are just so fun. Uh, but as I was going around and traveling and, you know, test riding the bikes, talking to the people, uh, talking to the dealerships, the owners, the, um, the salespeople, um, you know, a lot of them had a concern about what the entry price into Indian motorcycle was going to be. Uh, because when the scout, uh, initially came out with the first release, I want to say that entry price was around 13 or, or $14,000. Uh, and a lot of people were concerned that that was going to dissuade, you know, some of the younger buyers, um from getting into indian motorcycle all right 
with that entry point being at that level. So I think Indian Motorcycle uh, put all of those concerns to rest today uh, with the Scout 60 lineup with a entry price point into Indian Motorcycle at $9,000. Nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. All right. So just just squeaking under 10 grand uh, is going to be your entry uh, price into Indian motorcycle. Now, um, with the Scout 60, you're going to have three different models of the Scout 60. So you're going to have the Scout 60 Classic, the Scout 60 uh, Bobber and the Sports Scout 60. All right, and between the three, or each of those bikes or each of those models are gonna have two different trim levels. You're gonna have a uh, standard and a limited, okay? Um, and across these models, a lot of this information is gonna be the same outside of maybe like a weight difference or, you know, some of the colors, all right? Uh, and obviously pricing. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm gonna go through. Uh, I'm gonna go through it, and then I'll point out the differences uh, between the three models. Okay. So first, we're gonna start out with the Scout 60 Classic. Uh, this motorcycle is, like it says in the name, it's gonna have that classic styling. So your front and rear fenders are gonna be uh, the long swept back fenders, as well as on the rear of the bike, uh, you're gonna have a different style. Uh, tail light and turn signals and uh, you're gonna have uh, chrome and black accents throughout the bike all right in addition to that the bars are not gonna be they're like a we'll call it a mid a mid height uh, as it pertains to the scout lineup you have a mid-rise bar um, and those are in chrome and they come they kind of sweep back to the riders uh, so of course the scout 60 is gonna get the new speed plus 999 cc engine uh so i'm, I'm gonna call that the uh, speed plus triple nine that's it, it sounds easier <laughs> um and if you're familiar with the scout 60s uh at least the previous scout 60s they all had five speed transmissions these are no different they also have the spot five speed transmission um and these are going to be pushing out 85 horsepower at 65 foot pounds of torque and i really appreciate indian motorcycle adding the horsepower numbers to it um, while some people aren't necessarily concerned about it uh, i like knowing what the horsepower numbers are i mean <clears throat> to me it's what i'm used to so that's what i like <clears throat> um, the suspension um, you're gonna have your standard i guess style suspension uh, with your uh, forks up front they're going to have uh, 4.7 inches of travel and then you're going to have a dual shock setup in the rear uh, with three inches of travel and of course you're going to have your preload adjustment on there uh, just like normal all right uh, when it comes to the braking system uh, these bikes do not have linked brakes they are individual brakes both front and rear um, each of them uh, or each of the rotors uh, front and rear there's one each uh, you're going to have a 298 millimeter rotor with the front caliper being a two piston caliper and the rear rear caliper being a single piston caliper. <laughs> On the uh, Scout Classic, you're going to get a 16 inch front wheel and a 16 inch rear wheel. When it comes to the trim levels, the trim levels are going to be the same across each of these models. All right. So for the standard version of the Scout 60 Classic uh, or the Scout 60, you're going to have analog gauges, LED lights, ABS, and your color option is going to be black metallic. All right. So when it comes to the limited trim of the Scout 60 Classic, you're going to have the the options or you know the features that you're getting with the standard plus you're going to have uh, cruise control ride modes traction control a usb charger and the uh, limited badging that goes on the left uh, rear quarter of the bike or well it goes on the rear quarter of the bike uh, both sides left and right um, in addition to those features you're going to have some color options and these color options are going to vary uh, between the different bikes so for the sports 60 classic you're going to have a choice between black metallic springfield blue and new for 2025 frost silver 
price range for the Scout 60 Classic at $11,999 to $13,199. And that's going to be dependent on your color and trim level. Looking at the Scout 60 Bobber, you're going to have, uh, like I said, you're going to have those same engine options, transmission, um, your, your wheel, brakes, all of these things are going to be the same as you get on the Classic. However, aesthetically, um, you're going to have uh, bobbed fenders, which is why it's called bobber. So on the front and rear, you're going to have much shorter fenders on this bike. Uh, in addition to the tail lights, you're just going to have the bullet style tail lights, and that's going to serve as your turn and brake, uh, your run, turn, and brake. All right. Um, on the bobber, you're going to have um, a blacked out look or like a dark horse style look where every all the components are uh, black there's going to be no trim on or no chrome uh, trim on those uh, and, and also your uh, bars your handlebars those are going to be a flatter style more aggressively styled uh, handlebar so you're going to get more of that C shape uh, when you're on this bike leaning you forward okay um, and the wheels there's going to be uh, no machined edges like you find on the classic these are going to be all black blacked out wheels I think it looks fantastic um, uh, and like I said they're both 16 inch all right uh, the standard features are going to be the same your limited features are going to be the same uh, except for when it comes to your color options so for the Scout 60 bobber in the limited trim you have your choice between black metallic new for 2025 heavy metal smoke and ghost white metallic smoke and the price range for the scout 60 bobber is going to be nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars all the way to twelve thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars depending on your color and trim last but not least we have the sport scout 60 again same uh overall features when it comes to the engine transmission suspension so on and so forth However, when you look at this bike, you're going to see that big 19 inch wheel up front. You're also going to have a quarter fairing. You can have a tinted windshield or a clean, a clear windshield. Uh, you're also going to have uh, taller bars. So I think these are the mini eight bars uh, on this bike. And uh, for the uh, sport scout, uh, you also get a unique seat for the sport scout. All right. Um, and also you're getting that uh, blacked out or the dark horse trim on this bike um, and the way they do the colors on this is, uh, is, is a little different uh, because for the sports scout the front uh, the front end and the rear end of the bike is all blacked out the paint color typically is just on the fuel tank except for when it's the icon and uh, I don't have any information about the icons right now but if there's an icon version of this one which there might not be since it's just a 60 that's when you see like a whole different color on the bike all right uh, just a little something to roll around there all right so um standard limited you're getting those same features uh when it comes to the colors um for the limited trim your color options are black metallic black smoke sunset red smoke and new for 2025 blue dusk uh, and your price range for the sport scout is going to be eleven thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars to twelve thousand six hundred and ninety nine dollars depending on trim and color all right so today we covered two of the releases that indian motorcycle uh put out today which was the 2025 roadmaster elite and the 2025 uh, Scout 60 lineup, okay? Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing another video where I'm gonna be covering uh, the 2025 Springfield, Chieftain, and Roadmaster, all right? So you definitely wanna stick around. Uh, make sure that you uh, hit that notification button so you know when that comes out. Um, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the $42,000 Roadmaster Elite? And what do you think of the Scout 60 lineup with that uh, low entry price point at $9,999? Uh, put it down there in the comments. I can't wait to talk to you guys about these bikes and ride every day. And most importantly, make sure you're enjoying it.
Peace. But that's what I really want to say. Thank you to you for coming out. Thank you for writing our product. Thank you for being a part of our brand. And with that, I think we should pull the cover off the bike.